these series of artworks are a part of my Cupus and Pocodil series that I've been working on from 2020 to 2022. Cubism and Method takes my subject, break down the figure according to my shape and forms, and lay them out to see in many different angles all at once. I discover the Cubism style from an early 20th century Spanish painter, Pablo Picasso, and took inspiration from his work to shape my style that I believe became my personal signature. I also took inspiration from my father, Broughton Johnson and his carving figures. The kaupapa behind these artwork is based off the purako behind the waharoa, wharekai and the whare nui of my marae, iwitea. The following kōrero has been created from the knowledge shared by my father and two books, a carved cloak for tahu and te paki waitara o ngā tahora tokowhitu o ngai tahu matawhaiti written and illustrated by Mere Whānga. The carved figure are inspired by the waharua and the front of my marae, iwitia. Hence the title of this painting is called Waharua Kimua. The two spiral eel designs are kaitakituna of all the six lakes. They are called Mangatawa and Karataki. Mangatawa looks after the tuna in all of the lakes, starting from Ngamotu, Waihoroi Tuna, Ohuia, Wairo, Korito, and Herehere Tau. They run through the Waihoroi Tuna out to the sea. From Korito and Wairo, they run out to Te Rahui, the Rahui Channel, through Te Awapurua, to Patangata and Whakaki, and they go to the sea. Karataki takes them to the Pacific Ocean, so when they come back, they'll eventually turn into a ngoiro. And a ngoiro is an eel that's smaller than a white bait. I always wanted to insert for five fight designs within my cubism work, and I find it challenging because the space is small. Trying to figure out different angles within the koru and koiri designs feels different in comparison with my previous work. They are two core fi fi panels which are at opposite ends of each other. The Mangopari was designed by one of our tipuna called Hingangaro. Hingangaro was one of the great mokopuna of Prorangi. When you look at the Pakapapa of Kahungunu, his mother is Iwi Pupu Te Kura with the great mokopuna of Prorangi. Kahungunu's sister named Iranui who married Hingangaro and Hingangaro runs the Whare Wānanga in Uawa in Tolaka Bay called Te Rafi Oro. So there were three Wānanga there. There was Whakapapa, Whakairo and Ko Whai Whai and then there was Higher Learning. My father explains that Higher Learning is based on the following kōrero. Mata ki te whānau that can kōrero ki te wairoa o tō mātou tipuna is based on this Whakapapa. Tapuai married Te Rauhina and they had a daughter named Matakaingo Te Tihi. Te Rauhina's brother was Te Huki. He married Te Rangi Tohumare. Te Rangi Tohumare was the mokopuna of Te Whatuyaputi. Te Whatuyaputi was the paramount chief of Central Hawks Bay. The union of Whakapapa was the most important to our tipuna. It was about survival of our hapu in iwi. It was important in remaining on our whenua and to continue the mana of the bloodline. Te Kapua Matatoru was born from the reunion of Te Fifira and Purote. This kōrero led to the creation of the kōwhaiwhai design that my father named Te Pā Reka Reka Kiretanga o Ngā Rangatira. The essence of this design was to connect to all hapu with the Ngāti Kahungunu. Behind the eels are two carved figures. They are called Takapu Maro and Te Whakaangiangi. They are the kaitaki of kai within the lakes of Wairo and Ohuia. They take care of Morihanga, which is a yellow crabfish, a pātiki which is a white belly flounder, a moiawa which is a, a dark black and red spotted flounder, a taitipi which is a black tuna, which Ngāpuhi calls it tunahike, a pakararo, refers to by Ngaitahu Matawhaiti as the prime tuna, the maramoi and the whakaui tuna which is a rare species of tuna in commemoration of a wahine named Riria Lily Smith or otherwise known as Lil Blung she is represented in the Waharoa Sadly, Riria passed away before the commitment of the Waharoa as she was one of the driving forces involved with the Morai DIY 2013 project 
fundraising and project organization. She is buried in the Urupa on the Maunga Takitaki. That brings us to the end of the video. Nga mihi to our ropu wahangu or te rerenga kōtuku for helping out with this raffle. We hope that this video better understand of the purako and the creative process behind this painting. These paintings are currently available in our raffle for the upcoming gala at Te Kura Kapapa Māori o Ngā Tikahungunu o Te Wairua on Saturday 16th of December 2023. If you're coming to the gala, don't forget to support our other ropu as well, Kotahi Aroha and Bachelorette. If you'd like to buy a ticket, check out the link in the description for the raffle post or scan the QR code I made here. Thanks for watching, Eteiwi. No mai, hare mai.